Hi, welcome back. I'm Melissa Muir. In the last video, I showed you how to plate gold rings with the RM Go system. Now, as you saw in the video, I tried a number of different timing as well as gold solutions. So let's take a look at the results now. So here we kind of have things laid out. Let's start here with the 24 karat gold. Now I did these rings for a 15 second session, so not very long, and I knew it wasn't going to make my rings very dark. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to see what my results would be if I tried to remove some of this with, let's say, a polishing cloth. So here's a new area of the polishing cloth, and what I wanna do is just kind of rub this off. And I am gonna be fairly aggressive on this because I want to really see how much it will take to get back down to the silver. Now on this one, I've actually tried already to remove quite a bit of it of the, the gold plating, and it does, it does remove. 15 seconds does not put a very thick layer of gold on this at all. However, I wanted that result on this particular ring because I have a deep pattern uh, that has been rolled into this, and I wanted to see if we could leave the gold in the recesses, and that does work beautifully but that also means that that gold comes off fairly quickly and easily. Now the inside of this ring is still fairly gold, but again, it's a really light layer, and I would not expect that to last very long with any kind of normal wear and tear. Now the rings themselves are also pretty well coated, but once again, if I take this cloth to that and I rub kind of aggressively, I will be able to get down to the silver fairly easily. So if I I'm going to be using the 24 karat or really any gold, I probably am going to want to go longer than 15 seconds and just put a little thicker layer. Now what I would probably do, I mean you have a couple of options, either you put it in for a longer time or you take it out, rinse it, and then put it back in for another session. That's one option. If we look at the color combo between the 15 seconds and the 30 seconds, and I don't know how well this shows up on the video, but there is a notice difference between the 15 second and the 30 second so it does have a little more of a rich color to it versus this one that's just kind of lightly tinted that way now if we come over just a little bit more this is a one minute session in that 24 karat gold bath and let's take a look at the color differences here for the one so we've got 15 seconds 30 seconds and one minute. And again, there is a color difference that's there. And if I take one of these and I rub on this, again, fairly aggressive, okay? This one has a much better staying power than that 15 second. And we can look again here at the one minute. And once again, I still have quite a bit of gold color on this, so it, that thicker layer is going to make a difference. Now one thing I wanna point out is that this is not going to cover up any of your soldering sins per se. So here I have a solder joint, and it wasn't the best joint. I didn't clean that up very well before I did that plating process. And it's not like when you plate, it's just gonna cover those things up because it's not. As a matter of fact, it may actually end up calling attention to the fact that it was not treated or properly taken care of. So don't think that plating is going to remove any of that or cover it up because it won't. So let's take a look at the two sessions that were done in 18 karat gold. So here I have 30 seconds, and then if you recall, I did a 30 second and then I did a minute. So this one is just a little bit different on these rings. The color difference between 18 and 24 karat is actually quite noticeable. The 24 karat has more of a yellow yellow, uh, whereas the 18 karat is just a little bit of a softer yellow, so it's not quite as bright. And again, with the 30 seconds, we've got that lighter coating on here. I can come in and rub on this. And again, I'm not being light on this. I'm being fairly aggressive. And it does not rub off very easily. So again, it, the more we put on or the longer our session, the more gold we get, the longer that's going to stay. Now, I wanna show you guys something about the finish that you put onto these rings. 
Okay, so these two rings we did for a minute and a half in the 18 karat gold. And if we look at this ring right here, this ring had a nice fine polish on it before I did any plating. Whereas this ring here, all I did was put it into a tumbler. And when we compare the finish of the two rings, there is a noticeable difference between them. Okay, and you can really see that at the heads of these as well. So the more time you put into finishing your ring before you do any kind of plating, the better it's going to be. Now this ring I actually wore for about a week and you know what I do for a living and so I did everything. I never took it off and you can see we actually still have quite a bit of plating on it until we get down here to the bottom. And this is where we're going to have a lot of rub spots uh, just because it's on the bottom side of my finger like this. And so there's gonna be a lot of extra wear here. And definitely I'm starting to see some of that gold wear away there at the bottom of the ring. The inside actually still looks pretty good. Uh, so that part wore pretty well. And again, I would expect this because it might be rubbed against my pants or shirts or whatever else it is that I'm touching. So after a week, and again, this one was only done for about 30 seconds, so it didn't have a super thick coating on it, but it gives you kind of an idea of how that's going to wear. So hopefully this gives you kind of an idea of what the process looks like and what some of the results might be based off of either the different types of gold that you can use or the amount of time that you place these in there. Just know always plating is not going to be a real permanent solution. It does have that propensity to wear off, especially if somebody's put it on a ring and that person that's wearing it is rather active and wears it a lot. I love how easy the RM Go system is to use. And if I really need to, all I need to do is clean these up a little bit, go back through that degreaser, and then I can replate to add another layer onto this and make that coating just a little bit thicker. If you have any questions, make sure you drop those into the comment section down below and we'll be sure to get back to you.